Good morning, people. I just woke up, and um, when I get up, I normally, or I try to, uh, generally um, pray. Uh, that's uh, what I do when I wake up, before the sleep is from my eyes. I pray. Well, in the midst of prayer this morning, and believe me when I tell you, the, the flesh isn't even quite awake here, so this is a good thing. Um, <clears throat> I, got, I, I got a word from the Lord. Excuse me here, I'm going to take a, a sip of my coffee, because my coffee is permitted. <sighs> oh, good coffee. All things perish with the using. Praise the Lord, I'm glad that we are afforded that using and that liberty in Jesus. Uh, to um, continue uh, in this flesh but not after this flesh you know all things are lawful for me but uh, I will not be brought under the power of any said Paul no praise the Lord that's why I also believe Paul ate pork all things were lawful for him but he was not brought under the power of any but that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to tell you you can eat pork. You can, by the way. You can eat pork. You can eat shrimp. You can eat whatever God puts on your table. As long as you give him the thanks, you know, it's going to be sanctified with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. I love liberty, don't you? Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. There's been a lot of talk on the Internet about Zionism. Zionism, Zionism. And people really need to understand how subtle the serpent is. They need to understand how crafty, how cunning the enemy is. They need to understand how easily they can be manipulated by this superior consciousness through Hegelian dialectics and uh, through all manner of very subtle craft, playing one side off on the other, Problem, reaction, solution, etc., etc., all that sort of stuff. I mean, we've got the masters in the flesh, you know, we've got Machiavelli, and, you know, I, I don't have to name these people. I'm not celebrating these people because their wisdom is as foolishness before God. Now, that said, we're looking at Zionism. I'm going to make a statement that's going to knock everybody's socks off. I'm going to make a statement that probably a lot of my uh, followers, if you want to call them that, on Facebook, they're going to say, that's it, Ed's flipped. He's lost it. But I'm pausing here because I really don't know how to approach you with this because I have this knowledge. I, I know I'm right. I know it's the truth. So give me a moment here. I'm going to collect my thoughts here. How I'm going to approach you with this. That's how important this is. That's how big this is. Okay. Zion is biblical. Zion is godly. Zion is of the Lord. Great is the Lord. And greatly to be praised in the city of our God. In the do you remember the song? Have you ever heard of it? In the mountain of His holiness, Zionism is a different matter. What did I say there? I said Zion is good. Zion is of God. Zionism. What man has called Zionism? is of the devil. Pretty close, those two words. My God, how am I going to tell these people? How are they going to understand me? Put a word of wisdom in my mouth. Zionism is a man-made religion, a man-made way of life, a man-made ideology, if you will. But what fueled it, as all things are fueled, 
with respect to inspiration, inspiration, spirits. Okay, that's where we get our inspiration. Yeah, I, I, you know what? If you're an atheist or, or you don't believe that there's such a thing as spirits, don't ever use, take the word inspiration out of your category. You can't get inspired, right? There's no spirits. Yeah, I should have put some music on because I I don't know how to approach people's minds because the fleshly mind is so thick and cloggy and and so uh, uh, bent upon its own understanding that I don't know how to reach the fleshly mind. You know, I'm just going to put this word out here so that maybe God can reach maybe the few who can really pick up what I'm saying here. This is really serious. I don't even have music playing. I want to, you know, I wanted to do this while it was fresh in my mind because I've been convicted of this over and over and over again. Because people need to understand, I am not a, a, a quote-unquote Jew hater. Okay? And I, I do not hate my Muslim brother either. Okay? And, uh, you know, you want to slap a Christian label on my forehead, you go, go right ahead. If it makes you feel better, you know, go ahead. Fill your boots. I am a disciple of Jesus Christ. I am someone who has disciplined myself under his teaching and under his word. I am a child of God, spirit-filled, blood-bought, a born-again believer. The term Christian is a man-made term. It's a term that you only find three times in the Bible in the English language. Okay, and each time it regards uh, those who do not believe calling the disciples of the truth Christians. It was the name that the non-believer gave those who followed Christ. I'm not ashamed of that label. If you want to you know, plaster that label on me, that's fine, because I'm not ashamed of Christ. I know what he did for society. But you have to understand that Zion is of God. And the earthly Zion that we see in the news and all that is not God's Zion. It is the counterfeit Zion. And there's no getting around this. There's no escape from this, folks. This is going to go down. Unholy Israel will be established. Unholy Israel, uh, the synagogue of Satan, will be established on this earth. And, you know, look, I mean, if you want your tax dollars to fund the synagogue of Satan, that's your business, okay? You go ahead and fund the synagogue of Satan. You want to vote for those men who want to take huge chunks of money, fictitious fiat money out of the air, and, and, and sell your children into slavery to go shed their bloods on some foreign uh, sand for slavery, you go right ahead. That's your choice, okay? I'm up here in Canada. I'm a poor man. All right, you know, I, I can't stop them from taking my tax dollar that I pay every day, every time I buy something. Or every time I pay my rent, right? There's a chunk. It's called GST. It goes toward that big pool, they say. Uh, you know, and, and, and we send our Canadian boys off to war to die, in the name of Satan, okay? That's what's going on with respect to Israel right now. Israel is not clean. Israel is not holy. Israel is not righteous. And Israel is the most satanic nation in the world right now, as it stands. This is a very wicked thing, a very wicked thing in the sight of God, what Israel is doing right now. But all of this is prophesied. This has to come to be. This has to come to pass because the word of God does not lie. 
And folks, it's going to get worse. Israel is not going to get better right away. Israel is not going to heal right away. Okay, I'm sorry, but I've got news for you folks. Isaiah 4 has not happened yet. The prophecy of Isaiah 4 has not occurred yet. I know there are people that like to believe this. I know there's messianics out there that think Isaiah 4 took place. It has not taken place yet. The pillar of smoke, all that, has got to return first. And the purging of Israel has to take place first. Israel is one of the filthiest countries. I think it is really the filthiest country in the world. It's filthy. There's so much sin in Israel. It's all hidden. It's all behind closed doors. And now they're establishing the synagogue of Satan, compliments of the Rothschilds. Look, these aren't fictitious things. These are facts, folks. They're rebuilding their temple for animal sacrifice. You cannot top the sacrifice that Jesus made. It's impossible. You cannot top the sacrifice of the Messiah. It's a done deal. You'll never beat it. I don't care how many animals you kill. You cannot do it. It's a done deal. It's over, folks. It's over. This is the time of the God of this world. This is the time that the prince of the power of the air takes control because he knows his time is short. This is when the great zit comes to a head, right here. And that's what uh, your man-made Zion is. Zion here on earth, earthly Zion, built from the ground on up, the dominionist zit. Zion the zit. And it's going to pop. It's coming to a head. When that Masonic symbol was resurrected, over Israel, okay, I knew right there and then, this is it. This is the zit starting to show its head. This is where the horn begins to make its appearance and utter blasphemies. Okay, I know a lot of people think, oh, this is the Pope, this is the Pope. No, 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 no. The Pope is part of this. Because before all of this comes together, there has to be that unified world religion. And this is what they're pushing for, their, their so-called new world order. It's not so new, folks. Satan has been after this for a long time. Obviously, Jesus uh, uh, relinquished the world to the God of this world. Okay? You want to sin? I can't stop you. You want to be wicked? God can't stop you. You want to, tr you know, travel in your way? You want to pursue your way? You, you want to go that way? Go ahead. Go ahead, understand that it's really hard to get out of once you're in it. Once you've bound yourself to this world, once you've bound yourself to Satan, once you've bound yourself to these people, these people who call themselves Jews and are not, but do lie, it's really hard to be delivered. I'm not saying impossible. And I pray for you that you'll be delivered. If you really believe that you have to protect Israel, you don't have to protect Israel. Trust me, Israel has enough supernatural pr protection right now to do what they can do on their own steam. But I have children, and some of us care, and some of us actually value the souls of our children. You want to speed up the process? Is that what you want to do? Understand that you're going to be standing outside the gate. You will not be allowed to enter in. If you take part in this, if you're pro-Israel and you want to support Israel and you're working to see Israel uh, establish themselves as an earthly nation, you are part of the problem. You have actually put yourself in a confederation with Satan himself. Now, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And I'm telling you, surely, there is a Zion. 
There is a godly Zion. There is a holy Zion. And there's a new Jerusalem. And it's coming down from the hand of God out of heaven. And it is definitely coming to this planet. There's going to be a big war, folks, such as we've never seen before, where the very angels are going to be battling against flesh and blood. And that time is soon. This is not a laughing matter. This is serious. You need to get yourself checked if you believe that your tax dollars have to support Israel or that you have to speak in favor of earthly Israel or you have to be supportive of this ungodly nation. Surely you can see what's working behind the scenes as Israel permeates and infiltrates every nation on the planet. Surely you know what the enemy's designs are to bring about this so-called new world order. Surely you realize that none of this is good and that God's blessing isn't in it. But these things must come to pass. They're prophesied. So I am not speaking to the majority here trying to win the majority. There's no way I can win the majority. The majority belong to the devil. The majority belongs to those who want to serve Israel. I'm speaking to the minority. I'm speaking to the few that actually stand a chance of being saved in the blessed name of Jesus. So you can run off with your Torah and you can uh, uh, go ahead and uh, pontificate your Torah law all you wish on people but I'm telling you right now that without Messiah you are hopeless completely hopeless hopeless because all you've got is that Old Testament and you have no liberty in the Lord you're not saved you're still in shackles you're still in chains you're still in bondage to Israel Jesus was not joking when he was talking about the children of the kingdom being cast out. When he said the children of the kingdom, he wasn't just speaking metaphorically. Guess what, people? He meant the children of the kingdom are going to be cast out. Cast out into utter darkness. Where there's going to be weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. You need to check yourself before God if you support earthly Israel. If you support the men who claim to be the leaders of Israel on this planet here today, you're lost. You are seriously lost. You need to check yourself before God. Check yourself. Because this is part of prophecy. And this whole thing is coalescing. It's all coming together for the great battle. Now you can read in the book of Israel, uh, uh, the book of Israel, the book of Revelation, how funny. Uh, the, the book of Revelation, how Israel, how Israel and all its kings are going to fall. And where the eagles are gathered, right? Think about it. This is not good. This is not good. Those kings, those mighty men of Israel are going to become carrion. They're going to become eagle food. Food for the wild birds. They're not going to come to any good. They will have no part in the kingdom of God. Think it out. Check yourself. I love you people. I, I'm trying to warn you. I know the majority of you will hate me. That's okay. I understand. That's what's all about, you know, being saved and serving the real Messiah, the, the, the only wise God. That's what happens to people who come out of uh, filthy doctrines like Trinity, man made religion designed to serve the earthly Zionists. Praise the Lord. 
You know, you won't make it without the Holy Spirit. Praise God. I spoke in tongues this morning. Praise the Lord. You, you know, you will not make it through this without the Holy Spirit. The God of this world is a very, very powerful spirit. And the only way you're going to make it through is you need a direct experience with Jesus so that you know that you know that you know that you know that he's real. You need more than an intellectual experience. You need to experience God. You need to know there is a real living God. God bless you. I hope some of you got some of this. I, I may have to make another series on this whole Zion thing. Great is God, and there will be a Zion, but man cannot provide it. Man cannot provide Zion. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening. This is Edward King signing off. I love you people. God bless you.